notice, this video may contain superlatives that are not as appropriate for younger children. Parents, if there's children in the, in the room, earmuffs. Why? Because I'm freaking excited about this new RV that we just took in on a trade. Imperial Outdoors is freaking cool. I'm Mikey B with Beckley's RVs. Let's go take a look at this sucker and all the cool off-road features that it has. This camper is gonna have an off-road, off-grid feel on the outside, but wait until you get inside with us. It's got that tiny cabin home feeling. Such a good mesh of two different vibes, two different living styles. We gotta start with the outside. Up front, doesn't it look bad? Beep. It has got a cool look, and it, the, the look is just adds to the functionality. When we're going off a road, we need a lot of stuff. We need our, our um, obvious, right? We need our water supply, we need our food supply, etc. But how about even a gas supply? If you're off-roading or going into the uh, remote wilderness, man, wouldn't it be nice to just have a little bit of gas to start up your generator or throw into the vehicle and at least get back out on the trail in case of emergency? We do have propane up here, just like a traditional RV. You've got propane supply to supply some of those uh, um, feature or um, appliances inside. Moving around the side, I love the utilization of the front cap here with the propane on one side and the storage box on the other. It is full metal, little little uh, lock box that you can kind of slide out and store store some goodies there. And like I said, lock lock it if you want for some security. And for those guys and gals that are going big time off-roading or going into some uh, terrain where you need some ser uh, serious articulation, up front here, we can change it over to uh, one of those really cool like uh, panel hooks or one of those, um, I'm not sure, you'll have to comment below what it's called, but it really allows the vehicle and the trailer to articulate big time separately from each other as you're blazing the trails. Now we're gonna go up top and there's some things to talk about up, up here. We have a cool roof that we can access. It's a walkable roof that allows me to get up here and just look at mother nature. But also the features up here are awesome. We have a, a, a vent for the, the bathroom. We have a, a, a dish here for uh, maybe like you wanna catch up on some, um, I don't know, some TV out there in the wilderness if you can even get it. But more importantly, we have a couple big ticket items. We have solar panels up here that give us a lot of charge back to our big lithium batteries. There's two on board that literally probably could run an air conditioner for hours without having to turn your generator on. In the back, this one is equipped with a rooftop tent. Super cool. So if you got some extra people that are coming along with you, great way to enjoy the outdoors and have like a guest suite up and out of the way. And again, other than the walkable roof, you can access back here. There's a little bit of um, like a, uh, I guess a storage area if you want to tie down maybe a kayak or something big and heavy to get it up out of the way. All right, moving on to the awning side. We've got a big awning that spans the whole side here so we get that awesome coverage to have party patio time. Got a nice secure door here with the flip up stairs. This is freaking cool. I love this. I had 98 TJ, and for you Jeep people out there, look it up. But that's a, that, I had 33 inch tires on that thing to go off road and uh, around here. These are 33 inch tires, 33 inch tires on a travel trailer, but it gets even cooler. Handy dandy remote. You see what I'm seeing? With the aid of hydraulics, it changes the suspension to give you, I think if I'm not mistaken, up to 20 inches of clearance. So I know we're not necessarily maybe going in the depths of Moab, towing this behind us as you know we're rock crawling, but getting there, maybe some questionable trails, this sucker is gonna do it. Again, up to 20 inches of clearance to get you anywhere and everywhere. As we move to the back, we have a nice, big wide storage that goes all the way to the other side so we can get some of those long goodies uh, like maybe um, uh, a canopy or our maybe our camping tray uh, chairs etc in there 
and then the back to finish it all up. This monstrosity of a tire rack. This, are you kidding me? We again, we have not only one spare, but we have two 33 inch full size spare tires in case we do get into some trouble. We've got again, some more great utilization for some storage, some metal um, trays here that we can maybe put in some more jerry cans for fresh water, etc. And if we do run into trouble, hey, it wouldn't be rock clawing if you didn't get in trouble. We have a high lift jack. If you don't know what a high lift, uh, high lift jack, look it up, but you're gonna need that out on the trail. So what do you think guys? A 2022 Imperial Outdoors Explorer RV X22, bad ass. All right, so I gotta be honest, I'm super excited about this camper. We did the outside, now we're doing the inside. And it's just a different feel, we've get this, tiny home, this cabin in the up in the woods kind of vibe inside. So I get it, I get it. You've got the off-road, off-grid capabilities on the outside to get you there. And then you enjoy your mobile cabin off the grid where nobody knows there you're there and you just enjoy mother nature and everything that she has to offer. I love this camper, but before we get into it, man, I just got to talk about some of the features, man. This has an extreme package, a blizzard package, a wilderness package, the off-grid max package. All those packages allow you to do whatever the heck that you want. This sucker is rated down to below 40 degrees. You guys been out tent camping, you get a sleeping bag that's rated that low, you know it's going to keep you warm. Imagine this camper with all these features and amenities inside keeping you warm and you still have heat with a, through a furnace. So further ado, let's dive into this sucker and what it all has. When you come in the door, it has tons of buttons here. I love the fact that it's all this convenience center, if you will, um, inverter, lithium batteries, solar panel, all these gadgets uh, give you that visibility to, to know what's happening as far as um, your juice and your batteries, what's what you're depleting, what you're recharging, and more importantly, the inverter allow you to turn that battery power into some AC power, some electric power to run your air conditioner, to run some of those electrical items that are 110 only. And all these cool buttons are pretty cool. We've got uh, as far as like what the, the, they're all uh, labeled, they're all lit up when they're on. So we have ground clearance lights, we have awning lights. Heck, we even have a button for an air conditioner. Uh, compressor so man again you're on the trail and you lose a, you, you know run into some trouble and start losing some air pressure boom this thing has got it this is like your one-stop full uh mechanic shop out, out on the trail because we have a lot of uh storage that you're going to see in the video across uh on the uh, bottom side of of everything on the top side of the roof but moving into the in the front of the camper it's a cute little quaint bathroom that gives you the full full um, array of what you need. We have a uh, sink and medicine cabinet with some storage on the left side as you enter the door. On the right side is your toilet uh, for, for all those midnight bathroom breaks and such. But then the front uh, point area is um, uh, creatively uh, utilized as the shower. And that shower is big. It's a normal corner shower that we find in even like our 30 foot campers. Um, so definitely well done on that uh, aspect if you're off grid and um, you don't have to worry about going, <laughs> going out and finding a tree. Moving into the kitchen, we have of course our 12 volt refrigerator or freezer that's ample size. Again, a, 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 something that you're gonna find in a normal 30 foot camper. So, and if you're doing some cooking, we've got our propane stove top, we've got our oven. Uh, plenty of storage overhead and again storage below. Uh, countertop space is phenomenal. In this 22 foot camper, it's pretty cool. Like we're still getting everything that we, we would want in a big camper, but in a, in a small footprint so we can go off grid and all. Um, and then it, as I mentioned, of course again, storage underneath. Opposite all that is our booth. It's pretty cute little booth here. We have, I'm gonna say probably a two person booth. Um, but if you did need to, it has a telescoping uh, ta um, leg there that, that drops the tabletop down and excuse Nick. Um, <laughs> and then that way you can get an extra sleeping space as if that rooftop tent above isn't enough. But anyway, it's kind of cool. It just gives you maybe a little, little coffee time, a little breakfast time, and then you can get outside to what's more important and go play. Uh, while I was sitting here, I gotta, sh I gotta show off this screen and uh, shade. Um, um, contraption for lack of words. It's pretty cool. It's just that way you can, you can do either or, or you can disconnect it here and uh, definitely open up the windows if you're out, out in, uh, in, the, in nature and just want to get a good, good um, 
uh, airflow going through and really enjoy all the aspect of what, what we're doing when we go out, outdoors. And then moving to the back, again, as I mentioned, more storage above. We even have a TV just to kind of occupy ourselves a little bit. Big windows back here, love it. Get some cross ventilation for sure at night and get a nice mountain uh, cool breeze going through and get some good fresh sleep. But this bed is, uh, I'm gonna say probably like a double size, but definitely you know good for two adults or so. Um, cute little chandelier that was added after the fact. In fact, a lot of this uh, decor was, um, was brought in from the previous owner. So um, definitely uh, gave it a good vibe to just add on to all these cool features. So what do you think? This is again, a 2022 Imperial Outdoors Explorer RV. Uh, what is it? X22, I think. So take, take a look at it. Take a look at the specs, some of the, the capacities and everything. This thing is a monster. It's going to get you off grid, get you away from regular life, and nobody needs to know about it. Super excited. I think I can't contain myself enough. I didn't throw out too many bad words uh, as I was getting excited about this camper. So what do you think, guys? 2022 Imperial Outdoors Explorer, what, X22, I keep forgetting that. But man, this is badass, right? Got you the outdoor, um, off-grid, uh, off the road capabilities with a nice comfy cabin vibe inside all nice and cozy warm well hope you liked it give us a thumbs up comment below if you got some questions because i know i've got some more questions after doing this video to learn some more about this product and show us some love smash that subscribe button i'm mikey b with beckley's rvs we'll see you out on the trails mm -hmm.